just tell you that Paul Manafort's a good man. He was with Ronald Reagan. He was with uh, a lot of different people over the years, and I feel very sad about that. Uh, it doesn't involve me, but I still feel, uh, you know, it's a very sad thing that happens. This has nothing to do with Russian collusion. This started as Russian collusion. This has absolutely nothing to do. This is a witch hunt, and it's a disgrace. But this has nothing to do with what they started out, looking for Russians involved in our campaign. There were none. I feel very badly for Paul Manafort. Again, he worked for Bob Dole. He worked for Ronald Reagan. He worked for many, many people. And uh, this is the way it ends up. And it was not the original mission, believe me. It was... Uh, it was something very much different. So, had nothing to do with Russian collusion. We continue the witch hunt. Thank you very Mr. much. Mr. President, what about Michael Cohen? Sorry, 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 sorry. Any comment on Michael Cohen? All right, Thank President you. Trump walking away after taking those uh, speaking to reporters there, saying, "I feel very bad for Paul Manafort. Paul Manafort was a good man. It doesn't involve me. It has nothing to do with Russian collusion. This is a witch hunt." You'll notice he was silent on Michael Cohen. He spoke only about Paul Manafort as he arrived there in. West Virginia. Well, look, um, bottom line is, you know, what we heard from Kazami earlier, I mean, this is a nation of laws. I mean, these, these are senior folks, at least, that were involved in this campaign, people that he's been associated with. Michael Cohen said he'd take a bullet for the president. And, and let's face it, these guys are dirty. And this is what we found out. So um, he feels bad for him, but he's trying to disassociate himself with him and, and attach him to other politicians. You know, bottom line is, um, I don't think this you know, prints well on the president. But, you know, from a market's perspective, again, I would go back to, I think we're uh, not terribly far from where we were before we got this news. Let's bring back in CNBC's editor-at-large in Washington, John Harwood. I, you're not surprised by the president's response as he came off the plane, are you, John? Well, I'm a little surprised that he uh, would come over and take questions at all, but that if he did so, he would only speak to Manafort rather than Cohen. It's obvious, uh, the calculation there, because he points to Manafort, ties him to Reagan and says that the charges didn't have anything to do with Russia. But remember, Paul Manafort was in that Trump Tower meeting. He is now f under increased pressure. Uh, what will he uh, uh, subsequently uh, cooperate with the special counsel? He the president uh, doubled down, said it, it's a witch hunt. There is no uh, reason to think that it's a witch hunt. And, uh, you know, uh, he, he's He's playing the, the, uh, uh, his hand as best he can, but it's not a very good hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Paul Manafort was definitely in that meeting with the uh, Russian lawyer, but the trial was very much about things he did while he worked for Viktor yep. Yanukovych, uh, yes. who was a Russian puppet. I mean, these are very, very old events relative to the campaign. That's right. And there was an investigation of Paul Manafort that predated the campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of the uh, actions that uh, uh, Paul Manafort is charged with, uh, the financial uh, crimes that he's charged with, uh, did in fact occur while he was head of the campaign, but they didn't relate to the campaign. They related to him. Remember, uh, Paul Manafort uh, was in financial distress when he accepted the no-pay job as chairman of the Trump campaign. And we've seen from some of the evidence that, that has come out that he hoped to use that position to alleviate some of his financial distress. Communicated with one of his aides, said, how could we use the press I'm getting to get whole with uh, his uh, uh, Russian oligarch, uh, Oleg Deripaska, who he had been uh, close to. So uh, th there is a nexus to uh, the campaign and to Russia, but just not in these criminal charges. I, I got to say one thing, though, about your discussion on set. I agree. Uh, there's nothing that changes economic fundamentals uh, about this. And the uh, uh, tax cut is passed. Uh, I think that's much more consequential than uh, uh, to corporate America than the regulation so far, because a lot of the regulation hadn't really uh, done all that much. He, he was suspending things that Obama had planned, but hadn't really taken effect. But, but I don't think this is a, a, um, uh, a barrier smashing event for the economy itself. And if the president's ultimately forced from office and Mike Pence uh, becomes president for the rest of this term, I, I don't see how that has a dramatic effect on the American economy unless you, it just depends on how uh, uh, you guys value the whole uncertainty issue. Uh, and I've, I've never known exactly how to value uh, what's <laughs> uncertainty and what isn't since yeah. nothing in life is certain.